<laughs> Welcome back, folks, to the Light Ted Online Video Show, this episode of the show. And every episode of the show is brought to you by Keystone Technologies. Go to K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-T-E-C-H.com, baby. Light made easy. The retrofit kings, Greggy. Keystone Tech for all your lighting needs, man. They got it. I got a question and for more. you right off the top here. What is How it? How do you spell Q? Depends on what type of Q you're talking. But Q to me is Q U or sorry, C U E. If you're queuing right? people, queuing people, not pool Q, Q. Q is a capital oh, Q. Oh, queuing people would be Q U E U E. Put me on the spot with spelling. Woo! I need my spell check. So, but you know what the most important thing is? That, What's that the most value to tunable lighting. We just spoke to Andrea Wilkerson from PNNL, and she says it's into the it's the queuing, buddy. That was super exciting. How do you spell Q? I would we get say further into it. I would say C U E is a Q. Ooh, I don't know. That's what I said at first, but now I'm starting to think the Q one. Well, I don't think we're going to figure that out. We'll figure that out in a okay. second. But <laughs> the the exciting part was that tunable lighting used to cue people to do certain things. That blew my mind, dude. That makes a ton more sense to me, finally, than all the circadian Ooh. bullshit. Right? Everybody's Mumbo saying, jumbo, hey, buddy. circadian rhythm lighting, circadian rhythm lighting. And then, they, then when you ask them to define how do you get circadian rhythm, nobody can define it. We've had people on the show, and we've specifically said, give me your schedule. I want to know at this time it's this color, this time it's mm. this color. It, it's it's just not there, and and she proved it that the science isn't there, uh, but the cues are, and to me now that clicks. Like yeah, oh, you want to tell the kids to come in from recess, turn up the bright light or turn on the white light or whatever you want to do, or well, nap no, time, it, go to yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way that she was talking about the NICU, how yeah, when she was saying how uh, the number one thing reported by the nurses was that um, they didn't have to wake the parents up in the morning. And it just hit me like a bomb. Like, Isn't that so awesome? They have like, this, yeah, like... this warm light coming on slow, dimming up, waking mm -hmm. people up very gently. Hey, guess what? It's time to wake up. You know, whatever. And they come in. The nurse is already, nurse comes in half an hour later. Parents are already awake. Maybe the dad's gone or the mom's gone to get a cup of coffee or whatever. And everybody's ready to go for the day instead of, hey, wake up. Wake up. Hey, hey, wake up. Can I, can I turn the lights on now? No, no. Hey, wake up. Yeah. That, I just thought to myself, that's exactly the application for tunable lighting, dude. That kind of situation. Oh, it's perfect. It oh. puts everybody in a better mood. You don't have you don't have somebody nervous about, oh, I got to go do this now or, or a task that they have to assign to them. It's automated. It's taken care of. Everybody oh, just get genius. on with their day. Get yes. moving. Oh, man. And then the next thing was when they were, they took it from the warm in the morning, a gentle on in the morning, and then they peaked it at 5,000K. And she said, oh, the only time they touched it was when it was too white. And I just thought, yeah, man, just keep it warm, man. Keep it warm and bright all day long and then slowly lower it down. You know what? That's so, ch and then when they slowly warmed it down at the end of the night, they didn't have to come and say, hey, visiting hours are over. I'm the party killer. Party's over. Right. Time to go home. No, I don't want to go home yet. The lights are still on, right? No, you start slowly dimming those lights at when they want the visitors to go, and it slowly goes down, and people think, gosh, you know what? Arr, time to go. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. There's a deeper meaning in that, dude. There's something deeper going on there. Yeah, and I, I think that's probably the best discussion we've had on, oh, on circadian sure. lighting in terms of really summing up what tunable lighting does for you. Yes. And that's the value and, and of and tunable I, lighting is queuing. Queuing. Yeah. You want to be able to queue your peeps? You want to queue people to do this at this time? Get tunable lighting. You want to make them sure. healthier? I'm not going to tell you Get to do tunable lighting. Get that out of here. You can try it. There's no evidence to support <laughs> that, dude. There's just, it's like, that's so hard to prove. It's so difficult to prove. You know what? In, I think it's super interesting is that this combination of queuing with incrementally raising color temperatures and light levels slowly, like the frog in the fire, frying pan. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, you don't like bright lights? No problem. Just put it on slowly for you, buddy. And like using that cue. Now, you know, everybody's here at the light study, 830 in your office. Come on. It's a warm white or whatever. It's a nice 3000K, 2700K, and it slowly goes up. And it peaks at about two and then slowly starts to come down, just like you do in the day after lunch. You start to come down a little bit. And it right. comes down and accuse people that it's time to go home. I think that's genius, dude. 
I do too. And I think the other key is with tunable lighting is that you need individual control for it to have any value because you might like 5K, I want 35K. Tunable lighting doesn't help us, you know, it, it, unless it can do what we want it to do. Mm. You know, so queuing and individual control, I think, is, is necessary. We talk about automating it and doing all that, but we just said circadian lighting is not a thing. It's not there yet. It, it might become there, but they need science to prove it, and they haven't proven it. So until that's proven, tunable lighting will give you cues and give you some preferences on what you like to see. That's it. Yeah, it's not going to necessarily what? make you healthy. Yeah, you know what? We know that brighter light is better in some cases. In some instances, it's yeah. better to give people brighter lights. So do it nice and slowly and tune it up slowly and change it slowly. And then allow them to say, I don't like that. And they can turn it back. Oh, okay. You don't like it. Okay. But then, you know what I mean? It's like you can work people in this way. It's better. Dude, I'm really, I'm really so glad that, um, uh, you know, people go to getagriponlighting.com. You can check out that website with Andrea Wilkerson. I love those scientists, dude. That's what we, how do we get their voices out more? Because there's too many voices here. We've had people on the show. They've refused to do mm -hmm. pod, release their podcasts with us, right? Yeah. And yeah. they've insisted, they've insisted that this stuff works. And who are and every everyone that's refused has been about circadian lighting, hasn't it? Yeah, As, you know, you look back at it and it's all about circadian. And yeah, they, and, it's and like, then we try to get no. them to define it, and they can't. Home team only, all this stuff. We're not going to do this. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You're not agnostic, bro. You're selling something, and I ain't buying. Exactly. You shouldn't either. And Q, by the way, C U E is a refer to a signal that encourages someone to take action. So C U E, you're right. Q U E Q U E is a line, line. or file. And that what's a pool Q? Canucks, uh, I think that's uh, that's a good one. I don't know. I didn't look that up, but we'll get there. Something for the listeners to do. <laughs> Canucks don't say Q. Not that common. It's oh. a Brit thing. Yeah, no. Okay. It's, all right, yeah, all right. We don't say Q much. I mean, you hear it every now and then from a Brit, but we don't get yep. too many Canucks saying Q. Uh, <laughs> not that common. I mean, you hear it every now and then. You never hear it in the U.S. You hear it maybe. No. Everyone says, go get in the line. Line up. Line it up, boy. Yep. So no cue. But cue. Hey, cue your peeps with a good lighting system. I'm going to I'm gonna get after it right away. Folks, this has been the Light Ted Online Visio Show. And we really appreciate all you listeners out there for supporting us and for watching these episodes and get a grip on lighting.com as well. So go to Light Ted right now. Check out other shows. And, of course, Keystone Technologies, K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-T-E-C-H.com, baby. That's Light Made Easy. The Retrofit Kings.